Good morning everybody. We are at Ely Beach here in Queensland. We have booked a tender ticket on the p &O app to get off the ship at 8.30. It looks like they're running ahead of time. We are on Dawn 4 and they're just called Dawn 1 and 2. So we're headed across on our tender to the port of Ely. Go and check it out. Never been here before. Looking forward to it. Dawn 4 and it says relax. Gone are the old days of having to go down to a deck and pick up a paper ticket. It's all done on the app now. It made the tender process so much more streamlined. They still pack you in like sardines though and this was a very long trip around uh, 25 to 30 minutes maybe even longer. A few people start to feel a bit queasy. The other thing to remember about a cruise that has lots of tended ports is that it's really up to the weather as to whether or not you actually do get to port. If it was really choppy today, there'd probably be a good chance that we wouldn't have been able to get into early. Once we actually got there, it was a walk up through the terminal. This is a pretty busy terminal because this is where you get ferries to other places along the Sundays. These people here in these lovely blue and white shirts are volunteers and they come and help all of the passengers get to know their way around and where they need to be for different tours and how to get into town, that kind of thing. They do an amazing job, absolutely amazing job. Yep. That'll take you up, the markets are on there, It'll take you through the markets, you see Early Beach Club and everything, they're all in the main store. Early Beach Pub. Yeah. <laughs> it's got my name written on it. Either that or the Sailing Club, mate. The Sailing Club is quite good as well. Okay, cool. The Early Beach Pub's pretty, pretty noisy. Yeah. Because they play, he plays music and things all day there, right? Yep. So how, how long are up there, Walt? Five minutes. Yep. Cool. Right. Thank, Thank you. you so See ya. So yes, it is probably about 9 o'clock in the morning. It actually feels like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the way the sun is at the moment. It's a bit weird, don't, you're probably getting blown out of wind here. We're on our way. I have to say, that was the longest tender trip in history, about half an hour. And now we've got to walk. The walk to Early Beach doesn't take very long. However, if you do have mobility restrictions, please keep this in mind. You might need to arrange to get yourself there in an alternate way. Our first impressions of Early Beach, just from the port itself, was that it's a very, very pretty place. It was also very warm. I think we we're hitting about 26 this day. It's warm for us coming up from Hobart, where it was actually snowing when we left home. Early Beach actually really reminded me of the Gold Coast or Broad Beach, the way it was many, many years ago. You could actually walk past here and pick out the one of your dreams. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's some money sitting in this harbour. I was saying to Jeff, I wonder what they would do when there was a, um, a cyclone coming through, what the plan, game plan would be. And it's probably to, um, you know, get the out of here. We had absolutely no plan to do anything in particular at early today, except just go for a bit of a walk up to the lagoon and check out the city centre itself. Here's Jeff pointing out the Pacific Adventure. Along the pathway into the city, the locals had set up a market. This is pretty cool. You got to go through and shop through some of the crafts and clothing and bits and pieces that were in the markets. It's always fun. And as you keep walking along, you'll get to the beach itself. Now, this is really pretty. Make sure if you're traveling here on cruise, November to May, you're gonna need one of these. That's the high risk period, doesn't mean that, you're not out there now. Hear uh, that, Jeff said that's the high risk period. They could be looking. <laughs> could be out there. Wait. What? Show fire. 
I don't know. Actually, Jeff's found some ants. Fire ants jump. I don't know. Huh? Hey, let's go up to that. What's that up there? It's a dolphin on a thing. I'll go up here. I've got to go at the end from here. There's a great family swim spot with lifeguard on duty. It will keep you away from the stingers in the on season. I just found one of the best places on earth. Go and have a little look. I'll have a little squeeze, Jeff, a, a short one, yeah? Hey. Wow. I'm not a romance reader, so I haven't gone a romance today. Same with this. I've made myself. Alright. We're at the top. So, if you come to Ellie Beach, make sure you check out Dickie's dogs. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, we've made our way all the way to the other side of the town, so we're just going to walk through now the main street and check out some of the tour prices, shops, etc. Want to get a piece of fish? <laughs> you do this every time we go somewhere. So there you have it guys, there's our hour on early. <laughs> one hour and we're going back now here's another tip if you are getting off the ship on a tender just make sure what time the first tender back to the ship leaves because it might be a wait for you we found when we got back to the terminal they weren't actually letting people back on the ship until around 10 30 11 o'clock this is obviously because the ship itself prioritizes getting people off so they can get to the destination, the port destination. It was a busy port though, so we did have lots to observe while we were standing there. And then it was back to the ship. It always seems to be faster on the way back and it was great because we had a window and we were able to open that and get a little bit of fresh air where we were stuck up the back. Absolutely no fresh air at all. Bag off and then go up and have some lunch, eh? Yeah. What's the time? Yeah. 20 past 11. For sure. We found a nice window seat up in the pantry and watched the tenders going backwards and forwards between Airly and the ship. And as luck would have it, we saw a turtle, some whales, and also some dolphins. We came, we got back off the tender from Airly Beach. We managed to get back to the room, get changed, and had lunch at the pantry. And then we headed out to the adults only oasis and right now you can see that you've pretty much got the place to yourself which is pretty cool so i'm just going to sit back here in this beautiful spa all by myself and check out the most gorgeous view even though it is a bit of an overcast day yes and hopefully those tenders might be a bit slow this afternoon I have a tip for those of you who might be making your way to a heavy beach. If you are getting a tender, it's easy enough. The ticket process is really fantastic today. But the tender itself 
takes up to 25 minutes to get across. So just keep that in mind. And there could be some wait time at the other end if the other tenders are all sort of lined up. That's probably the only downfall today. Other than that, Ely is a beautiful place. Ely Beach is a beautiful place. Jeff's staring out over the deck over there. Yeah, I'm just going to um, shrivel up in the spa and I'll catch you in a little while. We spent quite a lot of time up on deck that afternoon before we left the beautiful port of Ely Beach. It was a lovely sunny afternoon. It did get a little bit cloudy a bit later on. On the way out, it's quite scenic. There are lots of sort of mountains and little islands that you can watch as you're leaving. We'd been really, really lucky this trip with the weather. And we'd also been lucky to see quite a few sunsets on our trip. Yep. Guys, <laughs> here on the p and uh, don't get me wrong, everything's fantastic, but here's a little complaint. You can't get a drink from the 12th floor until the seventh floor. <laughs> so we're gonna walk all these floors without having a drink. So we need a couple of travelers. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, now we're on level nine and there's still nowhere to get a drink. I'm just about empty. So we're gonna have to race down to seven <laughs> to get a drink. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy town. It is crazy town. Following the sunset, we retreated to the Blue Room and we stayed there for a while watching the band. A great place for some pre-dinner drinks and dinner tonight is at the Dragon Lady. Hey. What's the two Sweet up pork. Jeff had to have egg rice because I like steam rice but mangolated fish and it was <laughs> with mangolated it. Following dinner at the Dragon Lady, we did head up to the casino for a few drinks where we met some of the viewers from their channel. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey great to see you. There we go. Yep. We met some people. <laughs> it's always great to see some people who watch our videos and come and say hello. So if you ever see us out and about, make sure you do say hi, don't be shy. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. We're on our way to Cairns.